Tonight, a new report from the Attorney General says it is clear former state rep Kyle Tasker not only used marijuana at the state house, he sold it to some fellow lawmakers as well. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jennifer Vaughn. And I'm Josh McKelvin. The report brings to an end months of state house rumors and speculation. Back in March, WMUR was first to report that a raid at Tasker's home had led to evidence that he had sold illegal drugs to other house members. And tonight, the Attorney General's report names names even if none of them will be charged. The most notable name in the Attorney General's report is the former Deputy Speaker of the House, Pam Tucker, who, according to the investigation, bought marijuana from Tasker on one occasion and a marijuana elixir on another. Manchester Rep Joseph Lachance called Tasker the, quote, club med of weed, according to the report, and bought marijuana from him on several occasions and brought friends that did the same. Also from Manchester, Representative Amanda Bolden told investigators she used pot with Tasker in his car, was with Tasker while he smoked pot inside the state house, and recalls Tasker talking about the drug ecstasy and a big drug purchase that Tasker had made in Lancaster. Sanbornville Rep Ted Wright told investigators that he bought marijuana from Tasker for his wife to ease the symptoms of her breast cancer treatment, while Plastow Rep Sherm Kellogg also named in the report but he passed away from cancer in June and was not interviewed by investigators. In response to the Attorney General report, the Speaker of the New Hampshire House, Sean Jasper, issued a statement saying, quote, Members of the legislature take an oath to uphold the Constitution and laws of our state. Any member of the House who has knowingly committed a criminal offense should consider whether their actions have compromised the dignity and integrity of the New Hampshire House of Representatives. There are no criminal charges, therefore no criminal proceedings, but the voters will decide whether the representatives running for re-election deserve their votes. Governor Hassan's office also released a statement accepting the AG's explanation for not bringing charges, but includes, quote, the governor is extremely concerned by the illegal activity conducted by some members of the New Hampshire House. Now, we just received a statement from the attorney for State Rep Amanda Bolden that says, in part, reiterating, quote, Amanda did not buy drugs from Tasker. In fact, she never even inquired about buying drugs from Tasker, not once. We've been unable to reach to the other lawmakers named in this report for comment, but the report does say Lachance and Tucker also told investigators they used the marijuana for medicinal reasons. The report says no charge will be filed against any of the reps because evidence was insufficient to sustain any kind of prosecution. Tasker has pled not guilty, by the way, to several felony drug charges, as well as a charge of solicitation of a minor via the Internet.